Hello Aquarius, welcome to your monthly reading. This reading is for June 2018 and it is for Sun, Moon and Rising Sign Aquarius. If you have any personal questions then you will need a personal reading and you can visit my website katytarot.com to book your personal reading with me there. The cards that I pulled for you this month Aquarius are the Moon, the High Priestess, the Five of Rods, the Star, the Ten of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. What I'm seeing for you currently Aquarius is that something is eluding you, something is currently hidden, uh, perhaps the truth, perhaps a decision, there may be some uncertainty around you at the moment and I'm getting a strong sense of uh, emotions about something coming to the forefront at the moment for you and I'm also getting a sense that something or someone perhaps is creeping back into your life or something is coming back and you're not too sure about this you really don't know whether it's a positive thing or more of a negative thing so you're a bit confused about this you're not sure I'm also getting a sense that a long forgotten item or person or situation that you hadn't been in for some time uh, may come back and you're just not sure whether it's positive or negative because I do get a sense some of you thought this was over or it was finished for good but this energy is uh, coming back this month for some reason now the High Priestess is crossing you this month and I'm getting a strong sense that you need something revealed but it may be hidden from you and so this can cause some frustration and I'm seeing that here with the five of rods below you that there's a frustration here perhaps because you thought this situation or this person was gone and you didn't have to deal with this anymore or perhaps it's a frustration because you want things to improve and you're not sure how to go about doing that because you don't have all of the the facts perhaps or it may be about a decision that you have to make and you just cannot decide which which choice is the right path for you I am getting a sense that you'll be acting more on feelings than on fact perhaps so it's very important for you this month not to withdraw from something you've got to put your best foot forward you have to let your light shine don't hold back from this don't go into hiding about this you need to step forward even if you might not feel like it it's important that you do this for you and don't give up work diligently to achieve what you want here to achieve your goals or to achieve an outcome that's satisfactory for you with the five of rods I'm seeing that there may be some competition or conflict or competitiveness that is underlying the situation for you under the surface so it is important to stay calm and not to overthink things make yourself worry unnecessarily stay calm through the chaos if there if it is um, if it does feel chaotic to you I'm also seeing that a resolution about something is not satisfactory for you you're not happy with a decision or you're not happy with um, how things have gone you do want things to change you're just not sure about how to go about it just at this moment I am seeing though that you putting your skills your abilities your your effort working hard to improve this situation will pay off for you this month and I see that through the star this energy is coming into the month for you and this has happened in the past this is your past energy so spirit is really saying here for you that your destiny is going to be fulfilled even if it doesn't feel like it at the moment even if it is confusing for you at the moment you are going to get your destiny fulfilled and this is truly just a temporary situa situation for most 
Okay, it may seem like it's been dragging on or it's been going on for a little while, but it is temporary. It's not going to hang around for the rest of forever. You do have a, ch a chance to start over here as well. I am seeing that there is a chance to start over from this energy. I'm also seeing cooperation is important and to stay calm. There is a calm energy here coming in from the past and I'm getting a sense that calm energy is your intention. That's what you want to bring to the table. If you are dealing with another person or other people, you do want it to be calm. You don't want to get you don't want things to be chaotic. You don't you don't want this, you don't need this. And you some of you may have thought you put this into the past, so you're having to deal with it again. It's not as severe or it's not as in-depth as it was previously though. I do feel if it's something you want gone, you you will be able to nip it in the bud straight away this month. You'll be able to catch on to it fairly quickly. This energy of confusion or wanting to uh, withdraw or pull back from something, um, you'll do that to some degree, but you will say what needs to be said or you will... Um, change things that need to be changed. Ten of Swords energy is what's in your conscious mind. So I do feel that you have, you've thought this situation was put to rest. I'm also sensing mental and emotional pain or anguish associated with this. And if you are feeling that mental and emotional pressure on you, then I do feel the month of June, you are going to start to have this energy fall away from you. It's falling away, that's what they're showing me. And optimism and hope will shine bright in you, once again, other people are going to see that, see your light, see this star energy here, beautiful energy, uh, following your, following your true path, following your what you really want in this situation. I'm also getting a strong sense that any problems or complications or issues can be solved when you fully trust what you know and what you feel. That is very important for you to embody those energies, fully trust yourself and tr fully and uh, truly know what you feel. The Four of Pentacles energy is the future and what's coming towards you. The middle of June, throughout the whole month and to the end of June. Uh, Spirit is saying here it's important to manage your resources with firm ethics, firm beliefs about how you're going about this. Managing things in your material life um, well is very important and also respecting those above you in power but with that you're not going to be accepting any intimidation either you're going to be um, coming up with strategic ways or um, I want to say intuitive ways on how to navigate those energies I do see that your ideas and your goals are worth your time and effort. They definitely are. You are building upon something here. So yes, perhaps confusion at the moment, but throughout the month of June, you're going to be holding on to what you have and building upon that. So you won't be letting any other people or a person encroach onto your personal space that aren't welcome. I do see that security and peace of mind is on the way for you in the month of June and that there is um, there are solid boundaries around you in terms of your what's manifest in your life and also people I do feel there are strong boundaries here that you are putting in place that that is necessary and you'll be moving forward through any a disruptive energy that comes from the Ten of Swords, whether internally, emotionally or externally from other people or situations, 
and the five of rods energy you'll be moving through that with heightened intuitive ability I see that's what you're gaining from this month more than anything else you're gaining that true perspective your true inner guidance is going to shine with the star the moon the high priestess all here for you this month very powerful energies Aquarius so those are the energies that are coming through for you this month. I hope you all have a fantastic month ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon.